Good evening again, and welcome to Total Party Recap, TPK Roleplay's content recap and talk show. My name is Tyrant, and I'm one of three hosts for this show. Joining me are Turk and Heck, your second and third hosts from now into perpetuity, and our very special guest, Tony. Um, For all of our first-time viewers and listeners, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves really quick starting with turk all right hello everybody i am turk uh i am a gm player and self-appointed contactor of this show uh look it up it's latin um very excited once again to be recapping uh well in fact i suppose two weeks of tpk goodness um as we had our little little holiday break i hope you all had plenty of whatever food you eat as i've been recently informed not everyone just eats turkey like i do and then hates themselves for a full week uh so uh, again um hoping that uh tbk has aided in all of your digestions uh and now we're here to help further digest the week throwing it over to Sarah. nice okay well first of all Kirk, you should know that I am not going to look up basically any Latin thing that you do, Um, but, you know, (laughs) don't open. Anyway, hello, everybody. It's Sir Heckalot. You know, um, the hype person, sometimes chat bard, all that good stuff here again this week. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. and are ready to look at all the cool stuff that TPK did, not only this past week, but the week before we took our break. There was uh, one special session that we'll get into for a sec. Oh, that's me. Hi, I'm Tony. Uh, I just GM here. That's about it. It's me, just the random. Just the random. Okay, Tony, (laughs) you play too. Not anything till January. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, once again, I am Tyrant, a GM staff member and host and player for TG Game Roleplay. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Doctor Tyrant, and I felt that Tony that that hurts my soul that you you aren't playing until January. <sighs> I wish we could remedy that. Um. How about a little background on, on TPR? Uh, the show was designed with the busy viewer in mind. We understand that not everyone has the time to consume all of TPK's content, just like uh, many of you can't consume all of the food you prepare for Thanksgiving, which is a shame because it is the best food. Uh, so we are hoping this show will be an answer to that need. Uh, we will be recapping and talking about each stream and event that happens at TPK every Sunday, except for last Sunday, at 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, Tonight will be a special run of the show, as Turk alluded to, uh, where we will be recapping pre- and post-Thanksgiving content. Uh, The show will be covering November 23rd to December 5th. Uh, To the viewers, if any of you have any questions during the episode that you might want answered uh, about some of the content or just have uh, something you'd like us to talk about, Feel free to say so in chat, and we will do our best to incorporate that into our discussions. And now that we have all of the formalities out of the way, how about we dive into tonight's episode? Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks, and I I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, even though we're on the Discord and stuff. Like, especially you, Tyrant. Like, I just haven't seen you around, and it made me sad. It's been, uh, it's been some weeks. It's been it's two been weeks since you spoke to me. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, no. You hurt my feelings a little, and I'm sorry. Uh, listen, Turkey. 
let's talk about Thanksgiving. All right. Um, I, I, I for one appreciate we both went there with our uh, analogies for taking mm-hmm. in shows, but I mean, yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I've been very kind of absent and absent minded and full of shit and full of turkey because of a long Um and just catching up on real life afterwards. So, uh, Thanksgiving was weird this year, as most of you probably can relate to. Um, mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Cole. Yeah, we 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 understand, but I'm going to explain it anyway, friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I definitely. It's it's just been a long two weeks. Heck. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I mean, at least, yeah, personally for my Thanksgiving, it was interesting. Like, there were parts that, you know, obviously were taking away not being, like, a lot in person and stuff, because I be- I come from a very big family. You know, when we get together, there's, like, 30 of us. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so, to not have that this year was kind of hard, but what my brother and I ended up doing was we designed a family Discord server. <laughs> And just had a bunch of people join. I wasn't even expecting um, a bunch of family that I have up in New York. Like, I haven't seen them and I don't know how long. Like, I don't even have recollection of some of them. But they ended up joining the Discord server. So, actually getting to talk to them was super cool. Like, you know, we yeah, didn't have the one-person thing. But to actually get in contact with more family members over the holiday was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely did the uh, the Zoom uh, holiday festivities, which is quite fun. Uh, especially fun is when your parents buy a uh, 22-pound bird expecting 16-plus people, uh, and then you have four. Uh, so fighting off the, uh, the pressure to take leftovers was a move. Um, <laughs> but 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 there was a lot of really good uh a lot of really good times a lot of really uh you know classic uh thanksgiving food uh and you know plenty plenty of it in case that wasn't already clear again 22 pounds of turkey uh were sitting on the table and we had to figure out what the hell to do with it uh so my dog was very happy no no but you know I can imagine. Like, please, please be careful with that kind of thing. That can really mess them up. But no, 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 no. For pers- like, perspective vet student things. Just yeah, don't no, worry no, about no, it. Not actually, though. Uh, okay. I didn't take leftovers because if I said, "Oh, give me some leftovers," I would have been leaving with the whole bird. So. Uh, <laughs> give me some leftovers. Oh, the leftovers. Yes. Got it. All of them. <laughs> uh, but you know did take some some choice uh breakfast uh dishes like some crumb mm. cake and all that so it was very Ooh. good very good very good tony how was your thanksgiving oh uh like the rest of my life it was uneventful i worked and then i came home and that was it mm, that's, that's my life that's not... oh i'm sorry i also reviewed for more school because sad life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that's that's just that's just the worst, Tony. That's the worst. <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's well, you you know what, Tony? Um, I'm thankful for you. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Well, God, that was a fucking mood changer. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I am the Debbie Downer, but I do have a positive y'all? voice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? Speaking of Debbie Downers, oh my god! Uh oh. Shall we get started into our first show? Yeah, I think show? we should. Yeah, let's just let's talk about all the feelings that we had during the last episode or the first talk episode. About their feelings, <laughs> because I have some. Same. Uh, so uh, if you did not cat have the opportunity, uh, to catch the, I guess it it's both the start and continuation of a mini-series of games that we have here on TBK, uh, led by our 
wonderful uh, J.K. Madigan are uh, just in the, uh, as he would say, bastardized rule set of Electric Bastion lands. Um, we had Raven's Crest, which is, of course, the name of the town. And uh, I, whew, this, this, so if you didn't watch the first time we played uh, for 14 Years of Halloween, uh, I would encourage you to do that. Because, I mean, first off, it's a great system. I mean, it's an absolute joy to, to play in. And, you know, everyone in that game is, is, is kicking ass. Just because we all, we're all playing off each other and it's having a great time. Uh, but this time, uh, it's always concerning when the, uh, the person running the game asks you for details about your family. Uh, double concerning yep. when he's like, oh, this episode will be about the importance of family. Because, uh, you know, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah. Um, and the best way I could quickly define this episode for you is Blair Witch, Hansel, and Gretel. Uh, so we, of course, open to, uh, as we usually do with our <laughs> the prompts we get going into these episodes are, are basically like, and you guys will be doing this thing and just take it from there and I'll like hook you along eventually. It's like uh, it's like those the, the like air uh, the system where like a plane will just eventually come by and grab the little uh, balloon to hook someone away, the skyhook system. It's like that where you're just kind of sitting with the balloon on your chest, being like, "I wonder when I'm gonna end." You just are off. So we had some absolutely excellent uh, in-character DMing by our own Dev Develops, which uh, he had to learn second edition at least a little bit about second edition to uh, handle that. And, and from there, it is a traipse into the spooky woods you know, next to a, next to the high school um, with a lot of wickermen, a lot of siblings, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of bad vibes. And the best part is there's going to be more, and there's going to be a follow-up, and we're going to find out what happens after the horror movie. <laughs> based off of what everyone's answers were at the end, kind of like what's happening now between now and next session, which is going to happen uh, in universe uh, just after winter break. Um, it's, it's not good, but they're not the, okay. Guys, they're not okay. Guys. Our characters are not okay. Characters are not okay. But uh, the, the clip that was chosen. Um, and I want to give a special shout out to heck for helping me uh, get this. Cause I was hauling ass to New Jersey to get here for all y'all well, of course so you know love y'all um is is a fraction of the happier moments of that of, of this session um no spoops to be had here so no need to avert your eyes but just kind of i think we've all had a moment like this playing D D, or at least experienced someone like this playing D D, and being that person's different uh, I'm just going to start the clip. We're going to go for it. Special. Oh, boy. Wait. It's perfect. Wait, am I dead? It's Fuck. Probably. We'll have to I, I, you don't know. You know. I you took... Vanish, you you made me sit there. through, like, two hours of making this sheet. Oh, my gosh. Listen. We've been through this before. You knew what you were in for. If you had done your homework, you would know what they were going to ask you and why they were going to ask you that question and what the correct response was going to be. Look, you gave me, like, a 15-page document to read. Like, what do you want? It was I'm already like doing my homework words. and it practice. Do what you expect. So hard. I hear the next edition is going to be a little more user-friendly. Gosh, I hope the next one's more user friendly. You know, but but yeah, uh, it's 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 great being a part of that and just like, you know, um, getting a prompt like, okay, you guys are gonna be hanging out, figure out what you're gonna be doing, and and just the group kind of rolls from there, and we're all just waiting for that sky hook of just like, all right, what's gonna hurt us today? <laughs> Um, or who? It's an interesting topic to bring up uh, because it, it, it's happened, um, but it hasn't happened a lot here at TPK, um, character death. Um, and so thinking about it, and Tony, I, I, you know, we can talk to you about this. 
<laughs> Spoilers for Harper's in this conversation, everyone. Oh. Um, character death is, is something that, you know, is not necessarily inevitable, but happens a lot. And I don't think we take enough time to actually sit back and actually talk about it. Um, I can imagine that in Ravenscrest, it was, I mean, you said there was a lot of emotions going around. Um, yeah. And so I, 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 I can imagine um, some of the feelings, but um, Tony, to kind of bring you into the, into the conversation here, um, in, in Harper's, uh, before, um, before you played Braz, you played Cathari. And on that fateful episode, Cathari was lost to us. How did you how did you cope? How did you get through that time and, and what how did you what what were the emotions that you felt? Well, I was real sad, uh, <laughs> as one is. I wasn't as attached to Cathari originally. He didn't have as much character development because we hadn't done any kind of like RP that we did in the second half of Harper's. But when you do get like attached to, or even which one of your characters, just like true deaths, they're gone. Like, and I had some backstory. It's like, yeah, what's going to happen with his mother? Like, there is a whole thing I had in the background. He was like sending any money he made back. And that was another real sad thing to have to deal with. Like, oh, no. Uh, when you get, like, actually attached to a character and they straight up die, that can really affect you in real life. Like, you can get, like, a mild case of depression or just blah feeling. And it's... You know, at least like always seek something out to out to help you with that because it's not good to just dwell on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I imagine this is going to be a a, a, a topic that is brought up in uh, Murder and Coffee uh, that's coming up coming up Saturday. <clears throat> um, but we can talk about that near the the end of the episode. Um. You know, it's 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 interesting to see how, you know, the player reacts to um, character death, but it it's also really interesting to see in a story how the other characters go on and react. Mm -hmm. And it was a little di little uh, diluted with the with the Harpers because uh, there weren't a ton remaining, um, but. <laughs> <laughs> again spoilers <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, I've been known I know this but like mm. no. um, oh HP uh, asks a, a nice question has anyone been in a game where death was retconned I mean yeah, like, I I can take this question. Like, when I was DMing a homebrew campaign during college, there was just a really unfortunate set of rolls that one of my players had during combat. Like, he just, he rolled, like, I think, yeah, like a two and then just natural one. So, like, he was just out, even though, like, there wasn't really anything anyone else could do about it. And... It was already a pretty challenging combat. I was considering bringing an NPC to go with them anyway for whatever this mission was. So I just ended up bringing that NPC in during the combat and they had, you know, revival powers. And I was, because like I, with how much work that goes into characters and stuff, and like I was a new DM too, so I felt really bad about it. <laughs> So I I brought that character back because yeah, it was seriously like 
one of the central characters, like at least in the party dynamic, that was starting to bring the rest of them together. So I didn't want to lose that dynamic either. So right. it just, yeah, I ended up, yeah, just kind of retconning it, but more bringing like a story element into it instead. But like I technically count that as a retcon. Yeah. I have never been a player in a game. I mean, I guess, yeah, Luke brings up a good point. Barge Refrain was saved by chat uh, for Noir's character, technically. Uh, but, like, retconned in such a way that death was, like... Ah, uh, yeah, you, no, 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 you're not actually dead. Uh, I, I have been the one to do that for players, though. Um, when, I, when I was abroad, I was just running a series of one-shots, and these... these these people kept coming to all the little one-shot things I would run. It was the same group, and I was like, I just plan to use Cobalt Fight Club to keep making fights. And it got to a point where I was able to make like a mini story with them, and then one of their characters died, and it, it was it was crazy. Like I had never, as a DM, killed a player before, you know, even by accident. I mean, they were fighting Revenant, so I was like, it made sense in my head that he would keep smacking this dude into the dirt, but you know. In the moment, as soon as it happened, I was like, "Oh, this is, this is bad." Like <laughs> these these characters, these, 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 these human beings, the human beings on the other end of this table here are like emotionally connected to these silly characters we've made at this moment, and they are like on the verge of tears in this scene. So I'm like. I don't have the emotional strength to handle this, so I was just like, uh, yeah, no, and then there was, uh, that was all an evil cult of Tyr, uh, and so the good cult of Tyr comes, and he's just like, do the resurrection spell thing. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I chickened out of killing players. So, <laughs> yeah. any, anyone, uh, anyone in my games going forward should have that knowledge. Uh, <laughs> I feel terrible about most things I do, especially as a team. Yeah. See, the thing about Electric Bastion Lands as a system, too, just kind of going back to that, is it is not a super forgiving system. Uh -uh. Like, you know, you can take direct damage to your stats, and, you know, you only have three of them. And if you reach zero in any of those stats, your character dies. Like, straight up. So, and it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even have to start at your hit points like you can just take direct damage to a stat so yeah for at least like in this episode of raven's crest uh i took or my character took direct damage to her charisma stat and got uncomfortably close to dying <laughs> like i you know there's you know i feel like with almost any players like you know there's a compartment of your mind while you're playing that like is the character that's the character's voice like making decisions as the character would do and stuff and I think that is the first time like at least a year or two that that compartment of my brain just like blue screened like I like she didn't know what she was gonna do and uh, it was just for the last like 30 minutes of the game it was just me talking <laughs> like it's just like okay we're i gotta make some kind of character decision to keep the game going because oh lord um and yeah it's like if if you could hear like the uh dial-up tones in your head like that was me <laughs> i was like oh my god to, to be fair though that was definitely in character for what what occurred that's fair yeah. that's fair but <laughs> just clarify, you yeah had about, just you even had what was going on in my left. head too yeah i had two charisma left so, so any very more uncomfortably damage, close if you hit zero in bastion lands you're, you're you're done like you're done normally when you get hit you yeah. roll you you take the damage to your strength and then you roll a strength check to see if you collapse and are in bleeding out, basically. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, the other two it, yeah. <laughs> and yeah charisma damage is like its own thing, too. I'm not going to talk about what caused that charisma damage, first of all, because it's a spoiler. But second of all, like content warnings and stuff, I will say, if you are planning on watching the first episode of Raven's Crest, the like last half or so of the episode gets very dark. There are yeah, just content warnings with like body horror and... Like harm to, children. harm to children, like that kind of thing. So just be careful, be mindful, be ready to just walk away if you need to, uh, if you're watching that episode. Um, but uh, really interesting character growth that 
happen from everything <laughs> for <laughs> sure. That next session promises to be very different in regards to the dynamic of the group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tony, any uh, any retconning for you as a player or or GM? I don't think I've ever been retconned my own death because I've only had one character almost no i had one character that did straight up die but he came back but i don't think i've ever retconned a true death for my players before they've usually been very justifiable mm -hmm. yeah well it's interesting that turk brings up um our very generous um chat clerics and chat bards uh, because it definitely has brought us um to new heights and has saved us from many a great peril especially in uh campaigns such as harper's where we are big big dum-dums and don't have any healers God damn it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, um, I think i was playing the only person who had access to the heals yeah you know, well like i mean half of our for character. a while for a while yeah. for a while, while now, i think we're better i think i think until estelle showed up and yeah I was like, oh, that's not super great. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, we, we don't often uh, get to experience the, uh, the, the chat warlocks or the chat BBEGs quite like we get, quite like we got to experience a chat BBEG in the last episode of Tomb, and I Tomb of Annihilation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, they did. Oh, my gosh and it was you it yes. was you it was me that, yeah so those of you that did not watch uh the last episode of beyond the undergrowth it was super fun to watch you know sorry just had a pen knock over and make an obnoxious sound um they were crossing rivers and getting a bird across a river which was interesting uh and a particular bad table cursey curse thing through a monkey wrench into basically everything like oh my gosh so much of the session was spent on trying to figure out what to do about this bad table um which is yeah it's it's crazy to see when something from chat ends up yeah just changing how the entire session goes um but uh it uh it definitely led to some interesting character moments i think um with uh cole's character and nerd Wardo's character um just interacting with uh within the party and outside the party and you should definitely check it out because huge spoilers huge spoilers happened during that episode so definitely check that out but they got to their destination they are looking for some bones they're uh, fighting. See, they were called so many different things. I don't actually know what they were. <laughs> but they fought some things. And it was very interesting to watch. It's like something about like old men in turtlenecks or something. Like I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> they're, they're called something. And Tony can probably tell you. But first... Um, I picked the clip for this week and I think we should roll it because it's a very interesting character moment that I think wouldn't have happened without this bad table. You mean, you mean this clip right here? Yeah. This clip right here? All right, well, I'll hit the play button. <laughs> he writes, Nathrissa almost died. I couldn't do anything. I don't want to be the reason we lose another one. Especially since she's the only way I want to die. Aww. That's a very Aww. warped sense of the romantic there. Aww. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was oddly that's, like, that's... that was oddly wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about it the entire time the forest thing was going on because <laughs> because what? But oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Just your reactions to it were so <laughs> that was so good. Um, but yeah, like I thought that was a really 
interesting character decision and just you know on Nervarito's part to yeah think about what his character's reaction would be to kind of like the like love hate rival kind of member of the party dying would be it was just yeah I just liked it a lot and that's why I picked it mm-hmm. and for for people who <clears throat> are not caught up on Tomb of Annihilation um, or Beyond the Undergrowth um, Tony could you could you uh, give us a little re- just like the the quickest kind of recap of uh, the the general theme and where they've been and done and exactly what's what's happened for our viewers please so for the last 10 sessions let me go through my journal because i just wrote real quick tidbits for myself so they start off getting tasked with a job to try to find out what's going on with this death curse because people can't be raised from the dead and those that have are rotting away back to their death that they escaped from um they end up in a one of the only known ports in Chult called Port Nianzaru, where they meet their benefactor's friend who kind of gets them started. Um, they start like kind of gearing up. They look for guides. Um, they make their way into the jungle. <laughs> they find a couple of camps, one of which uh, they really, really do not like at all because the people there were not very nice. Uh, they then went to a plateau and met the nice old lady who offered them a vegetable soup. And made their way to uh, a ziggurat where they met a guardian naga that kind of gave them some information to kind of scoot them along. They then were trying to find a specific automaton uh, for the merchant prince that kind of helped them get the stuff they needed to survive where they met the goblin tribe of Yelyark, which that was fun. And uh, they did find the automaton, brought it back, and made their way to uh, an old um, tribal beacon called Firefinger. Um, So right now I believe they're still trying to find these dragon bones and trying to find where the source of death curse be, and hopefully if they can find the right person for these dragon bones they can find that out very nice and uh the uh comment um and cole told me to say this uh the the comment uh that nerd weirdo said uh wanting him wanting uh nethrissa to be the only way that he dies can you explain that a little bit if you if you Jeez. have that context, that sweet, <laughs> but also terrifying. So, their characters Johan and Nethrissa have this whole kind of back and forth thing where they're going for points, and it's whoever does the best in a situation gets a point, and it's like a rivalry thing. <laughs> um, but I think it's because they uh, they're tied to their past. They have a whole backstory thing where they're kind of tied into from um years ago so they are life like very long time friends and i don't think they could really handle losing one another and we'll we'll see if that happens because i can't wait for that oh Oh. listen it's called the tomb of annihilation and as someone who understands latin you should know that that pretty much means to turn to nothing Yes. So, yes. you know. <laughs> Audible what shrug. If the, what, if, what if it was the tomb of uh, uh, moralization? Someone, no. someone timestamp or clip that, please, because I, <laughs> I need Tony's little. <laughs> hey, don't. I don't know it to be an emote. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. yes How no. I have ruined Luca, everything. Are you still chatting? You need to make this happen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was doing everything to not do that. Yes. <laughs> Too bad. Um, we have done it. Oops. Thank you, Nefer. This is good. Um, Nefer, how could you do this to me on this, the day of my daughter's so wedding? I'm proud of you. Um, no, but uh, the we're going to have to figure out the, the official term uh, for the, uh, the anti 
chat bard cleric uh, for TPK. Um, but it was very uh, it was very interesting seeing how you how you handled that, um, Tony. Because I. I I, I sent I sent it in and you know bad table and I'm just watching and I all of a sudden I see your face and you just go oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's like one of the worst things you could possibly get in a two month annihilation campaign is that one right there mm-hmm. um, yeah. check rogue what the fuck what's wrong with rogues I yeah, like hey, cat lich that one's good well, hey Thank lich, you, is, lich is pretty good. Uh, chat gremlin that's that's a oh chat gremlin's also Tra- chat chat gremlin uh chat, chat gremlin. Pixie. oh we're not there yet we're not at the we're not at the frost maiden uh recap yet we still have two more right. before that yes yes <laughs> okay uh chat gremlin is probably the leader right now but if i see mm-hmm. any others in chat uh that are, are around the around that i you know chat goblin also could be pretty good uh, Chat Gremlin seems to be the the winner there. Let's mm-hmm. make it. Let's get an emote work up for that. One. <laughs> oh, yeah, there yeah. You go. Um, Very good. Yeah, Chat Gremlin. That's that's amazing. <sighs> but anyway, uh, Tony, just to kind of give them a little a little insight into uh, so, so d- was that word for word kind of verbatim on from your your bad table, or did you modify it at yeah. all? So, so it was just a straight up you bleed from your basically from your eyes until you die <laughs> or until you get a removed curse mm-hmm. um the one of the issues that i kind of had to retcon is that while the death curse is active any reduction in your maximum hp is permanent and it's like i can't have a bad just like a random bad table be like nerfing people like super hardcore um, thankfully, though, you completely derailed, and I had to add an entire extra thing with the uh, entity that Cole uh, ended up communing with. And I had to actually, like, ask uh, the rest of the party while Cole's communing, like, hey, so what are you guys doing while I have to, like, hurry up and add this picture and information real quick? Because <laughs> I needed a quick out, and thankfully I had that picture from i think dev put it in forever ago and i just saved that picture because it works super great right so it so nithrissa is fine now essentially she's the, <clears throat> we're gonna put air quotes on fine mm-hmm. she's fine <laughs> listen fine. cole fine. basically unknowingly made a deal with an entire very powerful entity and basically Add a Nethrissa into that little mixture. Mm. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. Listen, listen. Didn't pick up on that part. This is great. This is the power that that us fellow chat goblin gremlins can have. You yeah. can throw little throw little monkey wrenches into into everything. And I'm for it. So um, if if I might. Yes. Speaking of chat throwing some uh, monkey wrenches into sessions, we did have a draw of the deck of TPK things on our darkest night and brightest lights. Campaign. Yes, we did. Whoever could have unleashed that amount of chaos, Corn, the chaos god Corn, bestowed it. But more importantly, we had another wonderful run with from our players. Uh, traveling in Barovia. I would say more Strahd terms, but I am woefully underprepared. <laughs> uh, however, um, <laughs> I just know nothing about Strahd. Uh, so it's just, just both terrifying uh, and good, but I am learning slowly that it involves a lot of undead rising out of the floor. Um, this was also a fun session uh, as we had some it, it, you know, obviously, out of combat character development is very fun, and we always have that with this group. But in combat character development is also really good, especially when, let's say, hypothetically, one of the characters has never taken a human life before, 
and only now, undead. Oh, and only undead. And now, <laughs> what are you gonna do when when there are real shitty people in Barovia, and they may or may not be doing some kind of dark ritual thing? Uh, that is no way sounds like a song by a uh, now reprehensible YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> which is just another reason uh, you need to watch it so you can pick up on it and get that stuck in your head. And then... Uh, uh. I hope you're all unsubscribed to an easy by now. Anyway. <laughs> yes, spill the tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a whole different show. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah, no, like d- DM me, DM me if you want to talk yeah, about it. Well, you know what? Yeah. Hit 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 us up if you want to talk about uh, shitty YouTubers doing shitty things. Mm-hmm. But uh, you you can uh, you can just wait for the the total party uh, pop culture episode. <laughs> total party. Pop- yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's happening that's just right. More things we have it's, to do. it's happening right after the Harper's episode. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Who's putting things on people's plates now? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that in character, that in combat character uh, progression. Uh, I think it was a very strong moment, uh, and I think that is one of the main reasons I clipped it. Cause one, I love a good fight, and I love fights with tangible circumstances in and out of campaign, and that's why. We should all sit back, relax, and watch this beautiful bean footage. Didn't see any choice. So Soul's gonna make an attack on an unconscious old lady. Okay. Yes! That's my boy! <laughs> <laughs> She's not I'm unconscious. doing it to save a life. Yeah, sure. Dead, but go ahead. You automatically hit. Go ahead and roll damage. It's an automatic crit. Hopefully... You don't get up from this one. Goodness, I just lost my whole page. Here we go. You ought to- Yeah. 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 <laughs> I am going to hit an unconscious old lady. <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. Look, 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 look. It sounds bad out of context, but I promise you, it's there's a reason the the, the paladin is 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 killing an unconscious old woman. But, you know, uh you just get oh. her to golden girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, Ouch. No, HP. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, and man, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's also a clip from uh, the just like after session, like after like play session that, you know, they were already making jokes about it. It's, it's <laughs> like, it's... No, where I was just like, look, I'm still there and I'm sad. It's, it's so bad. What's on your mind, Slayer? I'm sad. That's fair. It was oh, definitely, definitely look at those. There were there were some winners. There were some winners from that episode. And speaking of, actually, we need to talk about Total Party Recaps Clip of the Month contest because I don't know if you saw my announcement in the Discord when I finally got it up there. Super but uh, between, yeah, December 4th, it started on December 4th and going into December 30th, um we uh will compile all of the clips that are sent in that time frame and the three of us here i i i, I can't point nowhere i'm supposed to point but the three co-hosts will pick three clips out of that that we think are the best and then for a couple of days afterward uh the community is going to get to vote on which of those three is the best clip and the person that took that clip uh, and one of the contests is going to get their very own TPK sticker and mug. So, you know, free merch is always good. And all you got to do is take clips and send them in the streaming clips uh, channel in the Discord. All you got to do. Uh, just make sure they're not too long. Don't make them like longer than a minute or anything. But uh, And it has to be during that time frame, but it can be from any show on TPK uh, during that time frame. Yeah, uh, that's 
I'm super pumped to see what everyone starts putting in. Uh, <laughs> because I feel there have been some great clips. I feel like there are going to only be more amazing clips. For uh, sure. <laughs> hopefully no players are like, oh, there's a clip competition. I've got to I've gotta make a clip of a moment and clip myself. I mean, if you want to try it. I mean, you can. You, you can, can clip you yourself. Go, go for it. Yeah, just clip, clip <laughs> like... yourself is totally fine. We're not against self-clipping here. But... We're not. We're not. <laughs> uh, but... Just don't self-report. Yeah, no self-report. Well, self-report. Oh, my God. Sucks. Uh, no, but I, to get to get back to uh, the recap really quick, I do think uh, Last Day Peach makes a really good point about uh, robotic handling it very well uh, post fact. I mean, there was a moment of, of processing. So, oh, that works because he's a robot too, <laughs> uh, and a warforged. Uh, no, um, but uh, there was a moment of in character and out of character like processing like how are we going to handle this like what does this feel like and then the, he got to show it in character and then they had that scene and it feels good and then everyone jumped on him about it with with the jokes which is i, I think there was a good mm -hmm. space to it which i think is really important because i especially with things like that in D, &D i think it's easy to lose track of of things occasionally and sometimes you might just be like oh yeah yeah no and I'll, i'm gonna attack i'm gonna attack this person and you know, I realize, and, and you forget, like, oh gosh, my my uh, my character like would not do this for X Z X Y Z reason. But, but you're already kind of locked in, so now you have to deal with that. And I feel giving that room and not have everyone jump like, oh my god, like yeah, yeah, da, da. like it was very well done. And of course, this is a group that we know handles uh, character uh, and player emotional space extremely well. Uh, and, and so I, I just, you know, obviously love watching this group and I encourage everyone to tune in uh, for more as as they uh, have uh, rescued a, a key NPC. <sighs> My goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and also there was a deck of TPK things, which is very interesting because the uh, non-tank of the party now can do some solid tanking and it's never going to bite them in the butt. Ever. For sure, yeah, never. Nope. Never. No. Never. Nope. Nope. We'll never, never come back. Never. Mm -mm. never Definitely ever. not within, you know, never, ever, or after ever. four days. No. No. Why would there nope. be a four day time never. limit on ever? No, no, yeah. Ever. I don't know. Never. Ever. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Nope. We look nope. very much forward to seeing how that plays out as well. Because that is, again, a wonderful thing about being a TBK. Well, it's kind of a, a TBK. What is it? Chat druid. If you're kind of like neutral and unsure of the effect of your actions, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just preserving the ecosystem of TBK. Yep. Uh, but uh, think balanced as it should be. Balanced, and you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, I. Um, sorry, HP's cracking up in chat. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, but but you know, it, it's it's one of those things uh, one of the ways in which you can interact with the uh, streams not in a negative or positive way but in a way that uh, not just within session but in these recurring games that we have now a bunch of and they're all lovely you can put something on someone's plate that's going to sit there you know it's not just a good table bad table oh you know well I can't heal this session at all but I can jump in the baths and handle it or you know uh, as we as we saw with the you know, Annihilation, that bad table is going to stick, and this TBK deck is going to stick, and that's going to change. I mean, from personal knowledge, the things that are in the deck can have massive repercussions for players and DMs yeah. like on yeah. how things progress. I want someone to roll my card. <laughs> I want someone to roll the bards for fan already. Okay, but Please. yeah, okay, yes, that, but that's that's, that's a session it. one. That's like a moment. Uh, but I, I need it. Anyway. I need it. I need someone to be forced to sing on stream because of fifty dollars. I need that. I need it. Okay. <laughs> well, you as long as I'm not on stream. As long as, <laughs> hey, that's Luca's line. Anyway. As long as you keep throwing fifty dollars to the screen, you have a one in twenty chance. Uh, Niffer, uh, what happens to cards that are drawn? Uh, they go back in the deck. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah. Like the regular old deck yep. of many. Yeah, we we replay, replay. Yep. Actually, it's it's unlike the deck of many, because when you pull a card from the deck of many things, it. I'm pretty sure. It, I, I think it goes. The card sure, itself yeah. disappears, but you can keep really? redrawing it. Oh, you can. Okay. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. No, I. Uh, I, I was very happy to to help create the deck of TPK things, so and glad. it's uh it's it's been a it's been very fun. <laughs> Whenever I hear, uh, like even if I'm even if I don't have have the time to watch a stream, um, when it's happening, as soon as I hear that a deck of TPK things card has been drawn, I go. <gasps> What would you want to do it? Do it. <laughs> Who's being affected? <laughs> See, and like even like when you're watching on stream, and uh, I, I don't know if like any like you know all fellow GMs here can agree, but uh, whenever you know someone says the number that was drawn, like I'm immediately looking it up on the document. Like I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else, but I just want to know. Exactly. Yeah, no. that is. So don't like don't tell them. Don't document. tell them that there's a document. They'll try to find it. Well, they're not gonna be able there's to. There's so find many it. documents. Yeah. <laughs> there's too many. There's too many documents. You know what? Almost like you know what? There, the Harpers. Yeah, there are too many documents, and we need to uh, file through them real quick. Uh, so we're gonna be back um, for the second half of this uh, episode here in about five-ish minutes. Um, so go, uh, go, uh, you know, refill your drink. Um, if you're drinking alcohol, don't refill your drink because it's a Sunday. Come on, guys, drink responsibly. Like I thought you were going to. Haven't I? No. Yep, there have, you. Wait, have you? Have you? Oh, look. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the second part of the show. We are so glad you stuck around. And look. Look at us. <laughs> no. You're so cute. <laughs> Um, I can't breathe. Okay. um, (laughs) Oh my god. I need to just not look at Tony's camera for a minute. (laughs) I don't know. know. Can you just say hello, Mr. Bond, real quick? Can you spin in your chair and say hello? I swear to God. Hello, Mr. Bond. If I had like, if I shave my head, I can do a pretty decent Doctor Evil voice. Yes, you I can. Need, Your Doctor Evil voice is the. I just best. need to get me like a fake camera. Good evening, Mister Powers. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, also, thank you, Nipper, in the chat. This is actually a bathrobe, believe it or not. But I'm glad you think it's cute. I like the polka dots a lot, and I feel like a child, like leaving for like a shower or something with like the little hood bathrobes you know that they have i feel like that right now (laughs) it's a good feeling it is it is the best it is the best speaking of child my cat is now yelling at the door like i said 10 minutes before stream would happen so hold on this is this is fair you did predict this show me the baby i want to see the child (laughs) the child the child show here to me. Uh, Let's all oh, hello. It is the infamous Snickers. Hello, Snickers. Hello, Snickers. Mr. Bond. <laughs> here you, comes. you know, you know what would be the only thing that would be better than Snickers? What? A five-headed Snickers. Oh my. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Let me see. Okay. okay. So here's that here's her horrifying. face. Okay, if someone wants to edit that and put her face on Tiamat, I would be perfectly fine with that. <laughs> Get on it, chat. Um, I love you guys. Oh, and she we wants make, to We sit. make so few requests of our chat other than <laughs> emote this. Make a new thing. Make all the you. emotes for us. Clip we it. love you. We Take we promise, the cat we head. Put it on Tiamat. And also there's, like, I think, a bazillion pictures of her on the Discord server already, so if that wasn't fine, you can find her face anywhere pretty much um but yeah speaking of shenanigans i feel like there was a lot of that in this episode of queen's gambit actually um i think it was just a very Uh, disclaimer disclaimer we were talking about the tpk queen's gambit 
Oh yeah. Yes. Sorry. Of no, <laughs> we, we, yeah. no, that's sorry. Total party culture is is a totally different. It's just it's all encapsulating. All it's all I think about. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I campaign. think yeah, I think it was a very good contrast to the very fast paced, high adrenaline, like high stress session that was the pilot. I think this is now the party kind of got to get to know each other a little better, like kind of feel out the dynamics a little bit more because there wasn't really as much of a chance to do that uh, last session. But uh, yeah, this is basically the polar opposite. But now I think there's going to be a balance. But there were plenty of sibling and spouse shenanigans um, with the, oh my goodness, why do you have a machete? Why is this happening? Why? <laughs> You're muted. Why? I'm trying to do a mustache thing. Like the other, I want oh, to cool. okay. Okay. I didn't understand. Oh, please be careful. Why would you face the play towards me? It's not towards okay. me. Oh. Continue. You have a campaign okay. to recap. I have a mustache to make. Listen. Okay. Well, maybe don't be distracting. But anyway, yeah, there was a lot of that going on. But we did get to some of the plot where we, uh, since I'm in this, I'm just going to keep saying we. We got to a uh, little bit of scouting, a little bit of tracking, a little bit of capturing some cultists that terrorized the village in the um, session prior. But uh, yeah, um, out of the shenanigans, though, uh, there was a lot of out-of-character shenanigans, too, and I decided to uh, to pick that for the cliff of uh, this week's uh, session, if you want to roll that. I would love to roll that. We can cartograph it. <sighs> yeah, let's explore the world. Again. I mean, maybe after we. There's finish. a plot. If, here. if we follow this cult everywhere, <laughs> chances are we'll have a whole map filled Show out. Show me on the yeah. map where the plot is. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Right over here. Wait, we'll go the opposite direction. Oh god, that last line. He's normally normally I don't yeah, like I would not pick a clip of myself doing something, but it just it made so many people laugh and chats over there already calling it before we even rolled the clip. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a really good session. I think yeah, just to get all of our wiggles out and really yeah, get into the feel that is tyranny of dragons, I think yeah, it's it's going to be fantastic with the dynamic we have as a party already. That magic is doing a great job with pacing already, and it's only been two sessions, so like I'm super excited to see what's going to happen next because I actually haven't read about this campaign at all. It is always more fun. Um, I also have not had any experience with uh, Tyranny of Dragons as a campaign, but uh, I will say, you know, the, the the dynamic you guys have is great. I mean, again, already coming in connected and just. But now exploring what all those connections mean in a high risk mm -hmm. scenario. Uh, <laughs> For sure. For sure. No, it's a very fun group uh, to watch. <laughs> Just as as that goes to show, that clip alone. Uh, uh, <laughs> that magic is is uh, shepherding cats in that moment, at least. Pretty much, um, Yeah. <laughs> Which is impressive and a credit unto himself as a DM. Uh, and, you know, look forward to, to more. I, I look forward to the point in the campaign where everyone's crying. And then everyone's like, oh my god, this pretty beautiful emotional moment. And we'll just clip that again. <laughs> and we'll just be like, oh, oh, look how far we've come. <laughs> Y'all thought it was this a joke. This is where the plot is, right here. <laughs> the plot is in your heart the whole time. You guys remember the episode two? The plot is two? the friends we made along the way. Um, yeah, no, uh, magic. Uh, the one of the two rules that we have here is that fun is the only option. So, yeah. Um, but no, it. I love uh, the idea of a DM or GM trying to herd. Uh, heard their players like cats um and i, I love that clip because 
as a forever GM, I've definitely been in the situation where I've been like, <sighs> forever GM before I got the TPK Turk, I saw your face. Um, I've definitely been in the situation where I've been like, okay, they're not doing anything <laughs> that I want them to do. How do I, how do I get them? to go this way instead of that way and so you try to you try you you can't have it too, you can't make it too heavy-handed right because then they'll see that they'll they'll, re- they'll realize what you're doing because your players are probably smarter than you um and they'll just go the opposite way just like it was said in in the in the clip so um that's not what a uh, certain group of uh ice fairing party members did this Friday, though. Though, if I could, I think because we have another one of these continuous campaigns, the module DMs here, I do have a question for Tony Mm -hmm. before we jump over. Uh, I mean, obviously, we've seen the map plenty of times, either through clips here or watching your uh, fantastic campaign in person, or rather, on stream. Uh, How, I mean you have the overall plot the players have a purpose for being where they are and doing what they do uh but there's there have there, there have you know obviously been times where it the, the players are, are kind of they're not like listless but maybe they might feel like we can go anywhere so why are we only going here like how how do you how do we do how do you handle it uh, what is your DMing style uh, in, in this campaign? Uh, uh, provide any examples that you like of, of how you would uh, handle players saying, we're going to go in the opposite direction of the plot. <laughs> well, they've been doing that uh, a decent amount of times in TOA, surprisingly, even with all of the, like, even with my most recent one, which was just like, what? Why? Um, I typically try to put NPCs that have information and reasons to kind of help further push them, but I don't like, you know, kick them off the cliff and make you go that way. Um, because obviously, there are, uh, you know, there are consequences to your actions and inactions. Uh, so the longer they take, the worse it can get, <laughs> but I've had a lot of people that or i should say players that don't follow the plot at all and you just have to coax them and sometimes coaxing them is giving them like a situation where you just have to be an an improv of this thing shows up and can help you it might have a cost associated with it like what happened last episode (laughs) in beyond the undergrowth but you just got to give the nudge. Mm-hmm. So would, would you ever, I mean, Tomb of Annihilation as, as a module is fairly unforgiving. I mean, would you ever punish players severely for going off trail if, if, if the situation calls for it, like later on in a campaign? If it, not to say like they misstep and like guess wrong for where to go, but more so like they start, you know, doing something silly or whatever like you know i don't know what i can't think of an example but you know what what is your what at what point do you feel with a campaign that is kind of known for its uh difficulty in staying alive uh when when does that really come to play bite the players in the butt not necessarily in the module itself i don't want Spoilers, of course, but like you as a DM, <laughs> yeah. if like you know, generally campaign wise speaking, is there a point where you, you you throw up your hands, or is it always like a constant struggle that you have to deal with? I wouldn't say constant. I do always give like the "Are you sure?" from like the DM, like, and everyone's just like, "Hmm, maybe mm. second guess your thoughts." Or I'm like, "All right, well, if you do this, remember, this is what you have to go with." Like, if a party member wanted to go solo in the jungle, okay, well, you're going to be solo, and you'd know, like, you've encountered all this stuff, and a lot of times, 
it wasn't good with an entire party. Do you want to possibly encounter that by yourself? And there's also stuff not just in TOA there. It's kind of like um, when you play video games and there's like this is technically accessible to you. However, things you encounter could just end you immediately. This is a hard mode area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are not areas. properly <laughs> leveled. Yeah. Um, I don't hear boss music. Yeah. Speaking of, yeah. Speaking uh, of hard mode area, um, I you know the idea of opening up a map in a video game and seeing like level restrictions in certain areas of the map um, is very much the uh, the sense I get whenever uh, HP talks about the Frozen Over map and oh yeah in, in Frost Maiden. Yeah. Um, I'm just like, okay, this is going to un- un- unravel and un- unveil itself uh, over time, I guess. And it's like, hmm, this might be a perfect tool to use uh, for, uh, for a GM that, you know, wants to keep their players on track. Uh, just introducing new areas whenever, uh, whenever the GM uh, decides. <sighs> I think it's a great tool. I think it's an amazing tool um, that HP uses. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know if it's part of the part of the module um, necessarily, but either way, it's it's you know having those things uh, like the map that you know un- uncovers itself in the in the time it needs to um, can definitely help a GM prepare better, you know, and keep keep players on track. Also, just saying, hey, yeah, yeah, you're dead. Sorry. <laughs> He is already dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, he's he's already dead. sorry, guys. Uh, there's, there's definitely something to that. It just he is off, the top, off the top of my head, uh, you know, like um, there are certain bring it back to video games, uh, but there are definitely certain RPGs that allow you the the free world. You know, like you can go wherever you want, but there's a thing happening in like 30 days time. Uh, not to you know reference anything. That I've read recently, but like, and you gotta handle that, or else there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff you're gonna handle later. So you can go and you can do all the goofy little side trips you want. You can chart out the entire world. It's not gonna matter when the world blows up. I go great. You got the most complete map of the world. Now draw it again from the ashes. Good luck finding a tree and enough ink. I hope all those beach episodes were worth it. Oh, of course the beach episodes are worth it. Beach episodes are precious. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait. <laughs> all of the beach episodes. <clears throat> but anyway, I think we've done enough uh, segues. Uh, yeah, there's a... I can't fight the so segues many. anymore. We tried. Uh, and, you know, the segue sale has cleared out the stock, and, you know, I'm just going to dive into it. Uh, so, uh, Paul Blart. Just total Paul Blart just mall copping all over the place listen cold hands warm hearts episode two cold hands, listen cold everyone heart. I got the name right this time I got it right I did my research and I got and the I name promptly made fun of it which is important <laughs> for a content recap show very important yes. it shows you watch the show Listen, I did my research this time. You digested and, content. And I think we have, Turk, do we have two clips? Did you prepare two uh, clips? I have, I, I made an executive decision. You had, you gave me options and I chose one. And it's, okay. you know, I feel a little bit of competition. You, which, with so, so, so did you choose beginning or end? Uh, well, beginning. it's, it's the beginning one. Okay. And I do have to say, that we ha- there's there's a certain NPC in this game that's kind of backing on our job. As yeah, you know what? I, I, <laughs> uh, can you can you please show that evil rapscallion of a character on screen I for would, us? I would love to. I would love to. I'm not gonna. How dare! How dare! Oh, the players want to go, a place you do not know. They want to fly, you think they'll die, but the fun must never slow. Oh. 
right? You listen here and you listen good, old bitey. It's our turf. We recap TPK. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna step, step on my ground, step outside of the frozen tundra. You're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet up. Meet me in the nearest Walmart parking lot right now. And we're why gonna, Walmart? We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna this have. This came up earlier. We're Anything gonna have words. Happen. We're gonna have words and hands. Oh, no. I don't. Never. What? I don't know how to do this. I didn't. I, no. I, yeah, it's a good thing it's mine. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. All right. You ready? Are you ready, you ready? kids? I, I, Captain. Ho! The adventurers start in the old north look in, where they are graced by a number of old bitey refrains as they gathered information. After casting a bat and frustrated old man, they learned of Kelvin's care into the north. Accompanied by three dwarves, the party set out into the tundra of Icewind Dale. Uh, oh. Uh, set by a uh. screaming cats and the mangled corpse of a dwarf. They followed the tracks of the dwarf murderers and found a group of goblins. Pull in a sled toward a large wagon being pulled by two very angry polar bears. They dispatched the boss, recovered the sled, but a couple of remaining goblins made off of the angry polar bears and whatever was in that wagon. HP finished off with one of his famous post-session discussions, and thank God I wrote all of that down beforehand <laughs> because doing an old bitey. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 I don't think I see how we got to discuss all the fuss of HP's latest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is uh, so good. Who needs oh to borrow your Frank card? Just tell us to sing like old Mighty. Oh, no. You know. Oh man, that. In HP like this. Show. <laughs> oh. Oh, is used for thinking. <laughs> yes, I can see that HP. I can see that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, oh this is goodness. this is very good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Never. That was an appropriate use of that reward, Never. It absolutely good that was very good. Oh no. Um oh, but yeah, no. no, it was it was uh it was a very interesting episode. Um I thoroughly enjoy HP's use of uh alternative media. Uh, things for his for sure. uh, for his TTRPGs. Um, for instance, uh, he created the the GIF GIF of the uh, or video or whatever it is for Old Bitey, um, and he also uh, made it canon that uh, the screaming cat, man eating creatures uh, scream Wilhelm screams. <laughs> good which is just the greatest thing mm -hmm. just the greatest thing it just uh, it makes it so much more entertaining this also, it already is but oh also, man hp's um whenever H hp introduces a diminutive character in his campaigns the voices he creates for those characters are just just the best and um the goblins cracked me up <laughs> And um, Lane's uh, warlock patron also was hilarious, uh, and being able to see that, um, I would highly recommend going and watching the first two episodes of this because I think it's going to be just just the, the greatest uh, campaign. Um, oh yeah, and I'm very excited to watch. Yeah, also yeah, just incredibly uh, promising. Like all the new stuff that has come out the tpk so far i yeah i'm excited to see where it goes listen um nefer i understand you don't love your warlock patron however we do the audience does because we like low-key are the patron and because we were doing the good and bad table <laughs> yeah yeah um no i it's 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 incredible to see you know the the chemistry uh in this group already it's very it's it's really cool because a lot of the uh obviously um 
HP's Curse of Strahd campaign has been running for a while now, and so the chemistry is there, you know. But seeing uh, uh, seeing Queen's Gambit and uh, seeing Cold Hands, Warm Hearts show up and have that good chemistry from day one or day two is is so cool to see um, how the content on this channel is just continuously getting better and better and better and better. Mm-hmm. Speaking um, of content, if you're done with the recappy kind of element oh, of that, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but anyway, um, speaking of uh, cool content, we actually did something really amazing on the Discord in the last 24 hours. Um, we had a player appreciation day that Cole started and it was just a day to plug all the cool creative stuff that you do outside of TPK and we had a lot of people show up with their own Twitch channels or like their projects and stuff and it was really cool to see yeah like what people do outside of the community because I at least personally didn't know a lot of the people on the server were doing stuff like that so it was just yeah it was really cool to see um if you haven't checked it out definitely go look at player pub if you're part of player pub because that's where it was you know it was really fun to see that i thought you were gonna reference your own thing but you know i mean I'm, that I'm was gonna shout you out. i'm gonna shout you out right now because you know speaking of player appreciation uh we also had another wonderful addition to the litany of songs that we are slowly being fed uh, by by Sir Heck, um, which uh, of course requires some knowledge of Harper's to fully appreciate, but even still, uh, having any amount of work uh, put into uh, your uh, just someone appreciating your character and adapting a song off of the Hamilton backtrack, like off show song that you're just like you listen to and you're like this is perfect i will turn this into an amazing thing for a character i appreciate which like as a fan that's one thing but as someone who's also in the games and playing along like what the heck sir heck (laughs) what the heck i mean i just that's just how my brain works like i think i don't remember when it was i had the first idea of this i know i told you about it turk but i don't remember because there was like I, one yeah. line that like really like stood out to me and i was like i could do this entire song probably because like if if you haven't like seen what it is on the discord server at all yet but uh i did a rendition of hurricane from the hamilton soundtrack for Veldani, played by the wonderful Osarex franco and chat um that was part of harper's uh, season one and yeah like like I was kind of saying before I it's just a very compelling song in the musical and I think it just matched perfectly with how compelling Veldani is as a character throughout the series that I was just like yeah like I'm, that's just how my brain works I'm just gonna do it and I was already you know kind of theorizing a uh, Harper's mixtape so that's just kind of in addition to Harper's in the sky and all of that, we'll just we'll see where it goes. <laughs> I'll be expecting uh, all characters to have their own. Uh, <laughs> for sure, but I for sure. I don't know if all of them are going to be from Hamilton, but but uh, there, yeah, I going to be I have my eye mostly. on some. Yes, <laughs> I yes, You're that's going to happen. You should all the Hamilton songs should know that Heck has their eyes on you. It's eyes on you. Mm-hmm. I yes, I, I got okay, the okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. I got it. I just I did the eyebrow raise. That's all you're gonna get from me. I'm a simple. Boy. But but thank you for the shout out. It just yeah, most of my creative stuff is within TPK. Like this is kind of yeah my creative outlet. And then I decided that I just do you know like the the things that are my namesake in the server i go and save animals that's it um yes i I think i think we should all take some time and appreciate our players and um 
you know we should we should be appreciating everyone but you know it's it's nice to have those those days weeks where we appreciate you know specific people and the players are really what make uh tbk tick and actually work so uh hats off whoa why so hats off to our players oh put it back on how dare you break the most sacred of rules on your own show you know what uh, how dare sir this is this i is will sacred. find another hat to put on and take off I, i'll be this is mm, how dare you this is yeah first this off is, don't this don't is step on proper <laughs> yeah thing. yeah listen yeah listen to proper i'll be right back I'm gonna but it wasn't to bake off so it's it's not the same hats off to player off. <laughs> uh, Boo. Boo. Fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay. Let it be known that I can't even run my own show without getting bullied. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Tyree. <laughs> it's all out of love. <laughs> um, no, but it, we we definitely need to... to uh, take some time and appreciate the people around us because we have been making some really cool, some really dope shit. Um, and it's, it's nice to kind of look around. Um, uh, Cleaver and Fedora, Hunter, you really are kind of decked out over there. I, okay, this is the benefit of having a brother who's into acting. When you come home, you get to take all the props. Very good. This, this is very I, good. I got uh, an armada of things to eventually uh, quietly throw to the background here. So this is very good. Be <laughs> uh, hey everyone! So that's the uh, that's the end of our content that we we're supposed to recap. Unless mm -hmm. I'm, unless I'm yeah, something. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I that's mean, that is uh, what happened this, this okay, week. So there was a show today. Actually, it's called Total Party Recap. And oh I think it no! Don't! Don't! <laughs> You're gonna open gonna so mad. Mad. Please don't! <laughs> what have you done? The recap wormhole. Oh, no. God. The recap time continuum. Okay, listen. Uh, we have some really cool content coming up. Um, oh no! Oh, bitey. Oh, bitey, how dare you? Yes. Listen, if you're just going to throw hands, you know, just remember, these hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just send them direct to old bitey in 10 towns. Yeah, what's your mailing I... address? <laughs> well, okay, okay. You okay, singing, bounty on you singing fish, should you. Should we put a TPR bounty on old Bitey? Oh yeah, you the know player, what? The player I am establishing, we, we're gonna I am it establishing this point now. Right yes, I am establishing this now. This is going to be a, a uh, channel point reward for TPR. If we get a certain amount, of, and we're going to work it out. Trust me, we're going to work it out. If we get a certain amount of channel points on here, we will formally submit an assassination uh, attempt to old Bitey. That's that not allowed? very cash money of you. We're, we're coming, we're coming for you. <laughs> How old dare Bitey. you? We're coming for you, old Bitey. Only mm -hmm. violence. Uh, listen, listen. Oh. <laughs> Hey. Hey. This is what I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Uh, listen, uh, before we uh, end the show, uh, let's just take a quick, um, quick moment to acknowledge the content that we have coming out this next week. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, um, due to some events that have transpired, uh, we will not be having Return to Black Chapel uh tomorrow um but it will be rescheduled for a later date and we will keep you posted on that yes we will we will keep you posted either in the discord on twitter or here so um because the church is blown up yeah. <laughs> there's no town no more well we're gonna we're gonna Sorry. rail ran, rail ran Fern Grove make sure of that we're gonna <laughs> blow up the crater um Oh no! Deep, Listen, uh, I, I have it on good authority that our uh, our seasons greetings episode of Harper Investigations 
that's this Tuesday, the 8th, is going to be a banger, everyone. So come check it out. Um, I, I have heard um, things about it, like um, sentient Christmas trees and things like that. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, then on Wednesday, we have uh, another episode of Singularity, our Mutants and Masterminds uh, show. Come check that out. Um, that also runs every other week. Um, on Thursday, we have finally <laughs> the continuation of Roundhouse White Bridge, um, which is yes. which is just just the the goodest the goodest show that keeps getting uh, somehow keeps getting the whole uh, scheduling conflict shebang. So. I'm very happy that we are able to do it this Thursday. Um, come check out our, our characters who have been thrust into a different timeline. Um, uh, just try to figure their shit out because it's it's going to be rough. <sighs> Listen, all you geeks, nerds, and, and awesome people out there, this Friday uh, we're, we have a Star Wars one-shot. Hell yeah, we do. bum 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 because uh, copyright um <laughs> uh, turk and i are going to be in that um and it's going to be just the goodest it's going to be the goodest uh turk and i are going to buddy cop the shit out of this uh this star wars one shot oh, yes we are okay. so come check it out um on saturday saturday morning uh we have another episode of murder and coffee which i host uh, I will be joined uh, by uh, Proper Nerdy, uh, who will be my co-host, and we will be talking about um, therapy and TTRPGs with Chrissy, uh, Callie Numbers in chat. <clears throat> and then, of course, join us again next Sunday for Total Party Recap. Hey, so, yeah. Not the same time, an hour earlier. Yes, mm -hmm. again. Doctor will no longer be holding to his stratagems. Yes. Week, hopefully. <laughs> yes. And then uh week after that is our is another run through of our modules week. So mm -hmm. come so be check ready. It out. Oh, and Bart's refrain. So heck yeah. And Sherlock. Heck well, yeah. Sher oh, is Sherlock only once a month? Sherlock is once a month, but it's on the fourteenth. I see. I, I, see. I, I thought I thought it was because my uh, eyes are being blinded. <laughs> blinded <laughs> by the light. Um, yes, uh, including Barnes of Fame and Sherlock Investigations. So, uh, those are the next two weeks. And uh, future is so bright, it's lighting up my whole face. Let's keep keep watching the content. I mean, you have to realize by now that uh, the absolute absolute ridiculousness uh that happens on this show is uh the least uh impressive thing that we do here on tpk um wow i really just bashed ourselves okay, wow <laughs> oh god everyone bullies yeah me. Bully self roast you. <laughs> you know what hey hey everyone i love you all and i'm sure you love us um and you know what what outro go <gasps> no oh. i'm kidding i'm oh, kidding okay. i'm kidding uh but anyway thank you all so much for watching um tony thank you so much for joining us um it was a pleasure, pleasure as always pleasure having you on um and we will be back uh next week in our normal time slot uh where we will be continuing this ridiculousness that you have come to love and know also, uh, I'm being serious. We're gonna have the channel report, uh, the channel point rewards for the old body assassination attempt. So, like, we'll make it happen. Start saving.